Hey there, welcome to this week's video. It is 14 ways to practice some self-love on this Valentine's Day. Not everybody has a Valentine in their life and sometimes that can make Valentine's Day a little lonely and kind of a little sad. And I don't want anybody to be sad. So whether you do have a Valentine or a Galentine, or maybe you're just spending the day by yourself, I think these 14 ways to celebrate Valentine's Day and practice self-love, well, these are things that we can do any day. And I just hope that they are a fresh and gentle reminder to grant yourself self-love, whether it's in little bits and pieces and nuggets throughout the day, week, or month, or year, it's important to do. And the first one that I wanna talk about is You know, I think we as women are just so stinking hard on ourselves. So can we just grant ourselves a little bit of forgiveness and a little bit of grace? You know, sometimes when things don't go right or we don't do something right or we're harsh on ourselves, I think we can be our own worst critics. So I'm encouraging all of us to just pause, stand down, give ourselves a little bit of a break. We are not perfect. We were not made to be perfect. And I just think we're so hard on ourselves and I really, really want us to say, you know what, okay, mistake made or that didn't work out as planned, but I gave it a shot, I gave it my all, I learned something from it and I'm not gonna beat myself up. Instead, I'm just gonna move forward and maybe make a better choice or a better decision. I think the way we handle it is so important to our self-esteem and how we feel about ourselves. So on that note, I'm going to encourage you to get a notebook for number two, and that is to journal every day. And what I think we should do is pay ourselves a compliment each and every day. What do we like about ourselves? Are you kind? Are you generous? Are you giving? Are you a funny person who makes people laugh? Again, I think sometimes we tend to see the faults in ourselves. So to practice some self-love, let's write down what it is that we like. Not what we can do, but a compliment about who we are, some God-given gifts and talents and just uniqueness about our own human nature. And then we can read through those and say, you know what? I'm not so bad after all, or today's not as bad of a day as I thought it would be. Compliments go a long, long way. You know, there's a study that says you can get complimented a hundred times, but it's that one criticism that you'll remember. We can't hear enough good things about ourselves, therefore we should start saying some good things about ourselves. You know what else I like a compliment? When I'm hair free. You all know how much I love my Kenzie IPL handset. Delivers quick results for hair loss. Results as soon as two to three weeks. Full results in 12 weeks. In the box, you will get your IPL handset. 10 years of flashes. Two magnetic lenses. One for acne, the other IPL for skin rejuvenation. There's a quick start guide that's an instruction manual. A very long nine foot power cord. It even gives you a skin tone chart guide, a 12 month warranty and a 90 day money back guarantee. So what is IPL? It's intense broad light. It means broad spectrum to treat a wide area faster. It's non-radiating, it's convenient, it's safe and efficient. It converts light energy to heat, targeting melanin. Those are the colors in the hair. So let's compare Kenzie to other hair removal options out there. You got waxing. We know how painful that is, and especially in the privates. Ouch! There's razors, but yeah, cuts, nicks, and razor burn. Or you can use your tweezers, but that's for simple little targeted areas. And then there's salon IPL, but it's pricey and of course uncomfortable and not in the privacy of your own home. How do you use it? Very simple. Plug it in on the back, power on the green button, and then you press for flashes, or you can do glide mode, hold it down for five seconds, and then it will do continuous flashes. Results in two weeks, full results in 12. Can be used everywhere, arms, underarms, legs, face, chin, upper lip, private parts, you name it. Also, the IPL and the attachment right here. This is great for sunspots, and then you have another attachment here. This one is great if you have acne. Here's the best part, $50 off your Kenzie device. All you have to do is go to the link in the description below to get $50 off your new Kenzie. I want you to have the great results that I did in the comfort of your own home. A little bathroom time now, and the question is going to come up. What lipstick shade do you have on? And you know I go back and forth between a pink and a red for Valentine's Day. This year, it is a hot pink, and it's by CoverGirl called Just Saying. 
There is nothing more fun than playing around with a bold lip and figuring out what shade is right for you. Remember, bluish toned, either pink or reds are for cooler toned skin and a little bit more peachy, warmer toned pinks and reds for warmer skin. I'm kind of a neutral, I swing either way. A bright lip can make teeth look white, but you know what else can? Something that I like to do at home. I'm asked all the time, what do I do for whitening my teeth? Many people think I have veneers. I don't. These guys are mine. But I like to whiten with Pure White 5 Minute Whitening Gel. So easy to do at home. You can either use your finger or you can take a Q-tip, put on just a little bit of whitening gel. Woo! And then while you're getting yourself ready, you know, with hair and makeup, you just let this sit on your teeth five minutes and then brush it off. You're good to go. Ta-da! A gift that's often given on Valentine's Day is the gift of fragrance. I particularly love vanilla. You guys know that I do. One of my favorites, um, I just recently reordered on Amazon. So if you're looking for a great vanilla fragrance, this is kind of a hybrid. It's by Comptoir Sud Pacifique. It is Vanille Coco. Yes, you smell like a baked good that's been hanging out on a beach. The most glorious combination of vanilla and coconut ah, takes you away, kind of like Calgon did back in the day, right? Another great find, I love drugstore goodies. This one I got from my local Walgreens because I now live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The climate up here is much drier than it is back in Houston. So I've been struggling with dry skin and you know when you kind of hit over 50 and in my case 56, it gets a little crepey. So I'm really into products that have collagen in it. So I found the Oil of Olay, the Collagen Peptide Firming and Hydrating Moisturizer. Can I tell you, this stuff is great. It really helps with the crepiness smells wonderful and the price is right if you're on a budget. Another way to show some self-love on this Valentine's Day, not only taking care of your skin, but taking care of your hair. This is another tried and true product that you can get in your drugstore. Why was I drawn back to? It's a 10 miracle leave-in treatment because it's got keratin in it. You know I've done keratin treatments in the past, so having keratin as a leave-in is really, really wonderful because you spray it in after you have shampooed your hair, you towel dry, spray, and then you blow it out. And so the heat with the leave-in keratin really helps to smooth out the hair. Yes, I have a drier climate here as well, but you know what? A little extra pump of keratin most certainly helps to tame the frizzies and have a nice smooth overall look. So again, another drugstore find and a great way to take care of your hair in the process. Speaking of hair, you know I like to change it up and to do different things. So a couple of things to share with you. First of all, I got myself a new curling iron. This is by GHD Curve. It's a one inch barrel. What's so cool about this, you power it up. You just heard that little beep. It's gonna beep again in 10 seconds, it's hot. Did you hear that? That didn't take long at all. Okay, so mixing up the hair a little bit. What I like to do sometimes is shake it up, do a little bit of a middle part, and then sometimes just take the hairs around the face and then just sort of flip them back a little bit. Same with the ones here. Under and then out. And then just take a barrette and if you just, you know, sometimes we get locked into a certain look and I really, really try to break it up. I, I just love sort of effortless, easy styles. And this one most certainly is. So if you have enough hair to do this, um, I would say just below chin length bob and longer, you can. And just do a loose ponytail where you leave these front pieces out, take your clip, and then just anchor the rest of the hair at the base of the neck, right there. And then what I really like about this is that you just take your fingers and you just kind of loosen that, that top layer a little bit. And whatever hairs fall, just use your fingers and just slightly pull them back. You can anchor it with some hairspray, but play around. Try a different hairstyle. Try something off your face. Try something that you've never done before. Hey, Pinterest, the catalog of ideas, great place to start. Maybe do a search for a particular updo or a braid or something that you've wanted to try but haven't and give yourself some time in the bathroom to play around and see if you like the look. Who knows? You may have discovered something new for yourself.
Okay, I am not appropriately dressed for this segment, but in my opinion, one of the best ways to express self-love and self-care is to exercise. So simple. I know what you're saying. I'm so busy, I don't have time. Can I just tell you, get yourself eight pound weights and five pound weights, and you can do a quick HIIT, H-I-I-T, high intensity interval training workout in the comfort of your own home. My friend Kelly Workman and I did one of these videos, and can I tell you, just with eight pounders and five pounders, I was dying, dying. You can do all kinds of things, lunges, bicep curls, you can do squats and chest presses. You can do shoulder presses. You can do reverse lunges and tricep dips. It's endless, even ab work. I'm gonna put a link to that video just in case you wanna start working out at home. All you need are some hand weights and a rug or a mat, that's it. Okay, y'all know I love flowers, especially fresh cut flowers. And who says you've gotta wait for somebody else to give them to you? How about running out to your local grocery store or farmer's market or flower shop and support somebody local and pick up a bouquet of flowers for yourself? It's a wonderful way to express love and to bring beauty into your home and remind yourself that you're valuable and you're worth it. I don't know, something about a beautiful bouquet just warms my heart. Oh, and it's worth mentioning, by the way, you can go to Groupon and for anything that you're looking for, any type of a service, maybe a massage, whatever, you can find some great deals out there. So if you're thinking of treating yourself and you're worried about the price, hey, Groupon could save you a lot of money. Almost at the end here, but I'm saving some great stuff for almost the last. Can we just make fun a priority? How about a Zoom call with some longtime girlfriends who you haven't connected with, or a night out with the girls, or some kind of something. Go to a comedy show, do something that makes you laugh. Any kind of an event that gets you outside the normal sort of day to day of what we do. I think we need to plan things. I think we need to schedule them, put them in our phones. But fun is important, laughter is important. Even if it's just giggle time with an old girlfriend or a new girlfriend, fun is everything. And I think that we've got way too much stress and way too little fun in our lives. And so I'm a big encourager of whatever it takes to make you laugh and to make you feel good and especially have a sense of connection and community with new people or old people in your life. But, you know, it is it is that old adage you and you hear about this all the time from people who live well past 100 in the blue zones. You know, they talk about, yes, the lifestyle, yes, uh, healthy food and eating, but the number one one thing is camaraderie and a sense of community. And you know what? A little laughter over a glass of wine never hurt anybody. Okay, number 14 on my list. Read something inspirational. You guys know this is old news here. I start my day every day with Jesus Calling from Sarah Young. It is my daily devotional. I can't imagine not starting my day with this word, but whatever it is that inspires you, can I just tell you what a reframe it is for your brain just to put a good word and a good message? For me, it's God's word. For you, whatever it is, just something inspirational that lifts you and makes you just feel good about yourself, about the day, about the world in general. And I think that it's such a guide. It sets the tone for the day and it's a reminder of where your head needs to be. We can all get lost in the madness and the busyness of everything. We can all get caught up in the tomorrow. But I think what I'm encouraging us to do and what I'm learning to do every single day is to simply stay present. Stay in the day. Today is the day the Lord has made. That's my word that I'm passing on to you. Also, can I just share? I love this book and this kind of ties back into the humor again, but this book, Older But Better But Older, is absolutely hysterical. It's from the authors of How to Be Parisian and it is their take on midlife Parisian style. And I really, really got to chuckle through this. So whatever it is to uplift you, to inspire you, to make you laugh and just make you feel good about life, boy, that is a wonderful, wonderful way to practice self-care this Valentine's Day. I wish you love from the bottom of my heart. I wish you joy. I wish you peace. I wish you contentment. 
and I hope it is a very happy Valentine's Day for you. Be bold and be blessed. I'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed the Valentine's video. I want to pop on real quick to remind you, I've got a podcast tour coming up this summer. It was my podcast that I released on Monday doing the announcement. I want to meet you. If you are in the Brooklyn area, please join me June 14th at the Roulette Intermedium. The day before June 13th, we will be in Washington, D.C. at the Arlington Draft House. Then we are heading back to my home state of Texas. Now that I'm in the Dallas area, we'll be in Dallas on June 19th at the House of Comedy. And then back to my hometown, H-Town. Y'all come see me June 20th at Match Houston. Can't wait to see you. Go to the link to be able to get all the information to purchase tickets, but I really want you to be there. It's going to be a fun, interactive, and surprising show.